We've got Toby from Stora. Him and Pete are going to be doing a crack based parkour challenge. I've got Toby today and I'm going to be teaching him all the necessary crack techniques in the cellar. It's an interesting place, not going to lie. Patches of concrete underneath you are nice. Screws coming through halfway. I see why they're so good now. <laughs> Lap to this shit. I mean, I think you put it very nicely. I've got to teach you really badly so you have no chance of beating no chance. Pete. Or yeah, yeah. I could do Pete over and teach you really well. Let's get rolling. What's the first techers? Backs of hands. Jamming gloves. Oh, it's like kind of inside out, I see. I feel like I should be paying for this. Don't worry, when you get to the end, you'll be like, no, 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 okay, you should yeah, be paying right, me. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. First on the agenda is the hand jam. Thumbs, fingers, slotted in, squeeze, and we're just gonna do some basic hangs. Toby, what do you actually climb indoors? Seven Bs, maybe. Ah, oh, font seven B? Yeah. Better than me, then. <laughs> <laughs> He is actually being serious. Yeah. You're off to a good start. Choose two good hand jams, slide the hand up to the wrist, push the thumb across, fingers across, and hang on it. Pull up, bring the feet off the ground. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's like a good tester to actually just like press this bit to make sure it's hard. Right. Don't, don't just like put it across and, and it's soft. Nice. Okay. These gloves are amazing. Step one. That's promising. You seem very relaxed there. Yeah. So let's right. just do the next okay. step up. Nice hand jam position. Right. That's for normal. And then from that one there. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. <laughs> if this goes down straight off, I feel quite confident actually. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is good. This okay, is good. nice. Yeah. I've got nods in the cellar, guys. I've made it. <laughs> I've made it. Seeing as we're here now, we might as well just try the thinner hand. So this one now is we can't get all the way up to the wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to push really you can't hard get thumb in, right? with the fingers crossed and you just squeeze what you can yeah, essentially yeah, out right. of them but it's really pushing hard with the fingers. Yeah, Two yeah, hands in there, bring them up there. Cool. cool, cool, cool. That's so different isn't it? Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, here we are. There you go. Yeah. Pull up to everything. Gloves are genuinely really helping for sure. And being a good climber? Oh, I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, a bit of climbing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this oh, is definitely. promising, Pete. Yeah, this is good. I yeah, feel yeah. like we're going to get a long way here. Yeah? Yeah, you yeah. might burn off all other previous cellar visitors on your first session. Setting the bar high early. Let's uh, steady on. I'm feeling positive for him. I'm not feeling positive for our challenge, though, obviously, because he seems really good. Are you saying that there's some issue with health and safety down here? No, no, not at all, no, no. We've got, we've got sores hanging around, we've got nails poking out. Really nice. Probably keep you in the crack a bit longer, wouldn't it? I suppose. <laughs> We're now on the off width, which is like the classic century crack, roof crack off width trainer. This one is about that wide, so we're going to be doing hand fist stacks in this one. Fist on one side, hand on the other side, and then we're going to be stacking in between. You ready? I'm, I'm ready to give it a pop at least. Okay, yeah. So century crack, I think, is the first thing I watched from you guys actually. So it'll be interesting to see what it actually feels like. The technique with this one is that we're going to. Uh, bring our palm on the yeah. side facing us. Then we're going to stack our fist behind and then the active part of the jam is you're squeezing with the hand. And just to get used to it, you're just going to put your feet on the back wall. Oh, okay. Just yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So fist. Right, got it. So. You do this midway up a f***ing route. That's nuts. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Finding those positions fast on a hard route at your limit must be really... That must That's where you have to like tense your core because you're doing a sit up upside down. That's cool. What am I doing? Other side. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That always feels more solid for some reason. I think. Easy. I think I've got that positioning a bit better. Yes. There you go. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Do that. When you put the feet in, like the hands will start to feel a bit better as well. I feel like, like we're only and... just doing the hands and you're already going a little bit beyond my midway expectations. Whenever I'm injured, Toby becomes the third wide boy. Yeah. Stand in. Yes. You're hearing that, Mum. Are you proud of me? Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you've got the stack. Stack position now sorted. Yeah. So now we're going to combine the feet with the stack and now we can start to move on the crack. So what we're doing with this is you have to imagine your feet are like you're sat on top of a wide pony, hence yeah. why it's called a wide pony, but yeah. you're upside down. Okay. So if I think, here's my pony here, 
wide ass pony between yeah. my, le my legs yeah. and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sit out so i'm like the stirrups are outwards oh, right. so my feet are gonna point out in the crack so rather than trying to be up like this and toes yeah. up or turned in i'm gonna have the feet out and you're gonna jam with the heel on the back and the toe on the front so you're gonna be turning yeah your feet in you just want to work your feet up into the crack yeah uh -huh. pull on the feet and sit up so you're gonna get your stack it looks fake it's crazy <laughs> and then from there slide that foot yeah along and deep get the feet nice and high and like right. really jammed tense in the core uh-huh bring your stack across yeah 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 little shuffle to kind of just find a comfortable position yeah, where yeah, you want to yeah, move yeah, across yeah. And then up to your hands again. Bring your foot across. Uh -huh. Then stacking. And so on. Got ya. Right. Okay. So what you can do is go left stack. Right stack. Right, that's a better switch because yeah, you've just, got two palms. You can do palm yeah. hand there. Or you can bring both of them out. Find it again. And so on. Yeah, got ya. Yeah, that's it. Here he is. Here he is. Yeah, feet are just right. That's it. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Really good. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, I switched the jam side. That's so much nicer. I'm getting seriously hopeful. Yeah. I think you might get burnt off heat. <laughs> <laughs> this, must, this might be the best I've ever seen anyone do in the cellar. Yeah, straight off. Oh, Look at that, that was well good. Really nice. Good. Getting the technique straight away. That, yeah. yeah, really good. I absolutely nailed the off whip. Yeah. So I think now yeah. it's just I think it's gonna go straight into like the roof crack. This is good because we can get some good challenges going. I think the first thing to do is to just teach you how to do the feet first, uh -huh. just to like set you up. Yeah. And I think the easiest way to learn it is that we're gonna grab the jug and we're just gonna walk our feet backwards and forwards in jams. When the foot goes into the crack, you want it to go in as narrow as possible. So don't try and like yeah. stick your foot in this way, it's yeah. turn your foot like that. Place that foot into the crack. Yeah. Turn the knee in, and then your feet, that other foot there. Yeah. So you're going to keep the knee in knee line, in the middle, so yeah. this is in line. Bring the other foot through, bring the knee in line, other foot through, knee in line. Yeah. And try and get as far as you can. So that's what you want to aim for, feet back and forwards. Cool. Right. Yeah, so knee in line. Yeah. Yeah, next foot in. Always keeping that knee in the line with the crack. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, and then you aim to try and get both feet either side of that wooden block now. Yeah, good. I want to move my hands, that's a... That's a lot back, getting over there. When you extend your foot out, try and turn your foot this way. Yeah, So it'll right. go in. So try and turn that over. Because the more that you... Because the further you get away, yeah. the more you need that, like... The ability you can't rely on any because it's a strange you can't, yeah, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> it sound right, boys. Well, the toaster. That's it. Nice. Yeah, go on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah get it right in. Really twist the knee. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, good, good. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. Come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good. Nice. Yeah. Good well, that's at my limit past that mark. That's funny. Good. Oh, nice. Yeah, keep it in. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's, that's good. Odd. But people grasp the, especially with this hand crack, they yeah. grasp the way of using their hands, but their feet lets them down. So yeah. then they're always taking way more pressure than they should uh -huh. on their hands. What we'll do now is we're going to combo up the hands, so the jams that you've already learnt, the hands, in with the feet. Yeah. And I'm going to teach you how to climb feet leading yeah. and then feet following. Right. So we'll start with our hands in the hand jams here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jam our feet 
up ahead of us. And the trick here is to try and bring your hands through to your feet when they're relatively close still. Okay, so bring... Oh, when your feet are close still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. So don't walk the feet miles away. away and then try and bring the feet through. Keep at least one of them relatively close yeah, so that you yeah, can yeah. then come through. Right. And it's really not bad to have the, one of the hands almost next to the foot. Okay, yeah. And walk your feet through a little. everything <laughs> yeah the jams run out of juice real quick for me in general I felt like the technique was right in terms yeah. of like how deep you're going with your hands and how you're using your feet yeah you just had a little bit of a tendency to overextend with the foot yeah yeah yeah. so I could see it was getting quite a distance and I could see a little bit of shake yeah, it was yeah, yeah. hard work doing that yeah whereas what you want to do is keep your feet quite close to you all the time. Yeah, right. So right, it right. almost feels like you're just too bunched up. Uh -huh. When you go uh, feet following, you get more stretched out. But this way, you quite, you're quite crabbed. Got you, got you, right, right. Yeah, okay. Too close. <laughs> no, that's not too, yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, and yeah, that's really good. One foot through. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Now bring the other hand through. Come on, come on, squeeze it, good. Get as deep as possible, yeah, good. Yeah, don't get too stretched out. Yeah, really good. Yeah, that's it. Come on. <coughs> good, 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 good. Come on. Keep your feet really twisted in. Yeah, really good. Yeah, that's better. That's odd. Because this way is like the down climbing version. No, yeah. I mean, I see you do it all the time. I was always curious what the yeah. benefit is, but it's getting the weight on your feet. So you've learned the hardest one first. Okay, good. You kind of got that. So this is what we call swimming technique. So one hand tends to lead right. over the other, like you don't cross your hands and bring them out of the crack. Right. This way, what we're gonna do is lead with the hand, come in, lead with the hand, come in. Then feet can come into the crack, come into your jams. And then again, you're gonna have to go round the crack, round the block. Yeah. But in this position here, you can always just slide, so you don't have to bring your hands outside. Right, right. And then slide. Come in, Got ya. slide yeah. through. But you can see that now you can get a lot more extended out yeah, 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 from your right. feet and it feels more comfortable. Got ya. It doesn't feel very nice to climb like, you know, yeah. right up here, it's just horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas right. the other way around is actually not too bad. That's interesting. So you can just get a little bit more extended. Yeah. Slide, yeah, good. Yeah, and then to reach around. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yeah, that's nice. it. Yeah, good. It's yeah, so way much, better now. So much nicer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah, slide. Yeah, right. Yeah, good. So Excellent. much nicer. <laughs> that's well good. That was twice as easy, I think, for me. That yeah. Way. Yeah, you're looking like a proper crack nice. climber now. Yeah, that was nice. great. Good effort. Yeah, that, nice. that. that is uh, a lot friendlier on the body, isn't it? Yeah. It's mad. Nice. So, oops, foot in there. Bring other foot into that one there. Twist it. Wow, nice. Yeah, through. yeah. And then forward you back to the yeah. back to opposing hands. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. I don't think we've ever said that one in a video before, actually. I but but, have, no. but we always use it, don't we? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, keep like, keep the foot in when you yeah. spin. Secrets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's one it's one that hasn't been on the channel. That's for free. It kind of needs a name as well. It does. Because it's, it? it's like a wide pony. It's like the wide pony. It's a wide pony it's in a wider. Hand I just witnessed the release of a new move. <laughs> How many people get to witness the release of a new wide boys move in the cellar? Squeeze it, squeeze it. Other foot through. Turn the knee in line. Knee in line, remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Come on. 
flipperoo with the hands. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, oh! I think I put my feet too far for that first, yeah. for the flip. Uh, I've done a fair bit of coaching for Toby. He's gone way beyond my expectation in terms of ability. So I'm like a nine and a half out of 10 on expectations. Okay. I think Toby's gonna rinse Pete because I've coached him well and I've given him all the tricks. So this is payback for Pete now. I think I'm basically going to have to up the ante in the parkour challenges, to be honest, when it comes around to that round, because I, I think it's going to be quite hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm behind you on this one. Yeah, appreciate nice the one. training. Nice one. <laughs> Pressure's on after that outro. Jeez.